Hello from Tree Nature's YouTube channel. This is Mark Josie. So long time we haven't done blades and swords review, and today we're gonna check out this sword that just came in. It's uh, sent to me for review and uh, like just to see how their company does their stuff. And you see at my back, lots of cardboard boxes and stuff. It's all because of this sword that I'm showing today. So let's check it out. Okay, this thing is very serious. It's so huge. You see, it's large wooden box. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> okay, this is serious. It's a katana and it's custom made upon order. Okay, so I actually have to go and choose my stuff, what I like and what I want for the design and then they will make it for you. So opens it up, it just looks like one of those typical Chinese sword kind of box, but it's really nice presentation. And they do have a cert right here that shows you uh, the, uh, the the spec and like all the certificate stuff, okay? So well, let's take a look at that later on. There's also a bag that comes with it and it's actually nicely engraved, not engraved, sorry, embroidery, not engraved, okay? There, words on here long sun okay the dragon god okay so open this up and there goes the sword now the sword is actually inside the bag when i got it but i opened the bag uh to test and look at the sword myself now look at that scabbard so it's so nice and beautiful with these little dots right here and you got to see that up close Okay, close up. Oh my. Oh my. Flawlessly done. Amazing. Look at that. Oh, it looks like those, um, the shells, you know, when you eat seafood, those kind of shells, it, turns in different rainbow color when you look at those uh, dots see they change color okay and this is well done it's very uh solid well done okay not moving at all don't know how they do it okay look at the uh decoration on the guard Super. This is not cheap at all. This is a super great quality um, katana. Wow. The handle when you when you move these uh, wrappings, okay, it's not moving at all. It's really well done too. You can really feel this rugness, solid. Okay, it's tight as you can see when you oh like that. Okay, it. There's a very tight fit to it, you see? Very secure. Oh, let's see? Very tight, okay? Now, um, this blade is actually... Take a look. This is the blade, and I wiped off the oil, okay? Look at that uh, clay tempered line. Oh, man. This is like blade porn. Ooh. Look at that line. The clay temper. Careful, because it's very sharp. I mean, I'm telling myself. And then, now here's the good stuff. Oh, mine. Look at that mirror finish. Oh. Look at that mirror finish. You don't want to screw up the blade by chopping stuff. It looks so good. Look at that. This line right here. Wow. Well done. Well done. Nice craftsmanship. Look at the other side. Look at that line. Oh. Oh, mine. Okay, so one test I want to do with it is using the uh, flashlight 
Okay, just uh, let's see if we can see some marks. Now the line shows up nicely, right? You see? Maybe a dimmer flashlight. There we go. Does it work? No. We do need a little bit more light. Okay. Like this. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful. So, that's the blade. And the balance point is at about 3 inch of the guard. Okay. Ugh. Don't want to... Don't even want to risk dropping the thing. This is so scary. Okay, about here. So that that's about right. Okay, one palm distant. Okay, so that uh, basically how it looks and feeling of this thing. Okay, I'm gonna walk back a little bit. The feeling when I hold this thing, okay, is that it's not a blade heavy sword. It's very well balanced. If I hold it with my back hand, it doesn't feel the sword is going to drop. It feels that the sword is just floating in the middle. When I hold it right here, right, the sword feels just right. I can use it single hand without issue. Okay, single hand. You can use both hands. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I see, I will say that it's a very well balanced sword. Uh, you can use one hand or both hand on this. You see, just using one hand right here, okay, it works pretty well. Okay, so yeah, one hand, no problem. Two hand, more powerful. Just the back hand, still fine. It does when I even when I'm holding it like this, it doesn't feel the blade is dropping at all. It feels like the blade is going straight when I'm holding with the back hand. So that is the pro because uh Last time when I was uh, doing the other pricey katana review, okay, that blade is more heavy-headed. This is very straight and well balanced. When I hold it right here, it just feels that it wants to go straight. It doesn't want to drop at all. So that's a nice uh, balancing right there. Okay, so uh, we have not <laughs> really tested the. Uh, uh, like abuse the blade yet to test its sharpness and uh, toughness but I think we can you know cut some paper that is flying around here just to show you uh, what is this okay windows testing okay it's sharp out of the box and it's razor sharp I, I don't have to emphasize anymore but you know these oops okay let's do it this way okay so yes it is sharp and uh, there's no doubt that it can kill, okay, cut. Okay, anyway. So when you when you go like that and test the edge, there's no nicks or rolls or things or whatever. And it is very sharp when you feel it, okay? It's a uh, well-polished edge. It feels, I don't know how to explain it, Ooh. but there's a uh, very soft, feeling to the metal when you when you go like that and try to feel the edge that means that it's very fine uh, uh, sharpened right here so I will say that it's uh, well done okay I will not want to mess up the edge by sharpening it myself again but I don't know maybe in the future if there shall be any damage I will have to work on it myself so far, I think that this is really awesome. Now, um, for power training, putting the sword inside the scabbard, okay, like this. And then, usually what I do when I'm uh, doing my power training is like this. Using it together at once, slow motion. Okay, you can be using this sword, slow motion. And it will it really fall? No, it will not. You see, even you try hard, it's not going to fall out. And that is really good because you can use the sword like that. And when we put the scabbard in, okay, the balance point is a bit out to the front. That's normal. You add weight to the blade, right? So it becomes heavier. That's the balance point. One palm distance. Really, the, about the same. 
Okay, about the same. But now, okay, you can't be doing all these things without that uh, scabbard trying to fly out. And it's very safe for indoor practice. Right? Block. Bang. You see, this is really good. You can use it for indoor practice without like <laughs> scaring the shit out of people. And you know, you can still not scared about losing this thing and flying out somewhere and that kind of stuff. See? Using all these movements, you're fine. It's still good. Okay, it's rock solid. <laughs> Really good. I love this thing. So this is the best feature about this thing. Uh, nice and rock solid. Now using uh, cheaper katana, like those in 100 bucks range, this, <laughs> no joke, it's going to fall out. Okay. After a while, like you swing two times, it's going to fly out. Okay. This, no flying at all. No, not at all. Okay. And the steel is made of 1095 carbon steel. For this one okay check out this Whew. they are Japanese okay Ryu Jin but Chinese Long Sun okay basically it's uh, I think they mean dragon god or something like that um, so yeah <laughs> How come it's all Chinese? <laughs> anyway, so uh, the whole weight is 2.5 pound, okay, and the length is 27 and a half inch, full length 40 inch, and such. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's what we wanted to see. T10, okay, 1095 high carbon steel. That's what this thing is made of, and it's really good. So, all these red words. You can take a look at that up close if you like. But all these red words are, um, I believe they're like the customized uh, factors or elements. Okay, so I think, you know, they have a black text template. And then every order, they will put red text over it. And that will be their certificate. I think that's how it works. So basically, they make a uh, custom order. And that, that uh, means that it's serious and proven legit because they don't want to screw up their name, right? So it's not a production sword for sure. It's really customized. Now, only thing that um, I think it's kind of like a bummer for this uh, package is that there's no custom engraving on the blade. Uh, I wish they could. And that will be awesome to have some stuff engraved on it. But... Uh, that's not available too bad. Okay, so This is the first look review of this katana and check out the link below for their website and all the other uh, Stuff on their website. I personally Personally love this red setup and I chose it on purpose because I have too many black sort and Red is really 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 good. So handling this thing Wow, really good stuff. So yeah, check out the link below to get yours. And also don't forget that they custom made your sword upon order. So choose your stuff and email them if you have any questions. Really good stuff. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Whoa, <laughs> this is really good. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.